After a small summer break, I'm back making some sketchy videos like this again. Speaking of summer, this video is all about my little trip to the Lüneburger Heide or Lüneburg Heath. It is a very large area of heath and woodland and the special thing about it is that there is a certain time period of the year, uh, usually in August or September, where the whole area appears in a radiant violet which makes it so special to look at. So we decided to drive all the way up there and by we I mean my family and my brother who flexes at every opportunity camera points at him, so that is that. I brought my sketching stuff and was excited to see what the area looked like. I decided to take a path up to a specific hill and stumbled across some sheep just being randomly there. <laughs> if I wanted to sketch them because the shepherd was slowly guiding them further away so I rushed to get the, the basics of the composition done. I just used my um, pencil pen as always and wanted to get a sketchy and rough look to it. <laughs> It's like half finished. I didn't start the watercolor part. <sighs> and the sun is going down in a few hours, so I have to rush if I want to see some more spots or some cool stuff to sketch. Uh, and I also don't want to pressure my family to wait for me because it's like it takes a bit of time to sketch. So I think today is all about just collecting cool memories, seeing cool spots, and then uh, finishing them <laughs> somewhere else. Uh, it sometimes just be like that. Nice mosses. climbed the hill and arrived right at sunset so it was the perfect lighting to have a look at the view and rest a bit and I decided to rather finish the sketch than starting a new one meaning I unpacked my watercolors and just added a bit of violet and some uh, greenish tint to it not much just to add to the uh, messy line art didn't like the sketch itself but I enjoyed just sitting there enjoying the view and getting inspired by the colors and while finishing it I decided what to do with this kind of creative input once I get home but I will tell you once we get there On the second day we just visited a little like lake or swamp or something like that before heading back home. Uh, 
uh it's been a couple of weeks it's yeah it's like a mini time time skip here because um i just edited or like watched the footage i uh i did at the luna boga heide and then i was like uh, i only captured one little picture it was so beautiful and now i wanted to do a print out of this but as always i went for board with the coloring and the um, well, it's so colorful that I have to do like at least five layers and it takes a lot of time. Um, but to save a bit of time, I made it a bit uh, smaller because it's like I usually work uh, on a larger piece of board. After transferring it, I had to fix some missing spots so I know exactly where to carve. And then I just started with the first layer. First layer is done, it was quite easy because I only had to do the border. Um, but I'm gonna print tomorrow because it's um, stressful. <laughs> I burnt the edge of the board so the hairs on the back don't get into the paint while printing and started to mix the purplish tones to create a gradient. Purple because, well, it's like the main color of the Lunapur keys and I really wanted to get the mood for that right. Yesterday I like washed the color off of the board and then I realized that the sketch underneath dissolved and smudged and everything like went away. I, I don't have a sketch anymore and now I'm thinking of a smarter way to transfer a sketch on the board because I, I've tried everything. I really tried everything. I tried drawing it directly on and I tried using cold paper sheets and transferring paper sheets. Like my current technique was to like use the back side of sticky paper and uh, some medium and stick it onto the board, let it dry, pull it off and the problem is it has some, some rough patches while printing and also it apparently comes off. How do other people do that? I'm, I'm lazy, I don't want to draw it on it every time. <laughs> The second layer was the hardest since it had the most details uh, and also the leaves and the face. I basically wanted to color everything in a beige color so the whole background had to go. For the sky, I used a bluish gradient. I kind of like how this looks, as if I used more layers than I actually had.
on the third layer, I skip filming a lot because, well, it, it is basically the same procedure. But that day, I decided to only do three layers since I applied the color too, uh, like too thickly, and it started to build up and forming an uneven contour uh, and like color blobs on top. It wasn't looking detailed enough, so I reduced one layer. So. Yeah, <laughs> here is the finished print I have. I think I wouldn't have done something like this if I hadn't been on this whole trip the other day. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you like this kind of videos or what you would like to see in the future. I am uh, currently collecting a lot of new ideas to create more videos. So see you guys there and have a great day. Bye.